The universe is full of strange things, that much we know. But every once in a while, astronomers find something so bizarre, so completely unexpected, it makes even the weirdest science fiction look tame. We're not talking about aliens or wormholes or parallel universes, at least not yet. We're talking about real observable objects, things confirmed by data, measured, documented, peer-reviewed and still barely believable. Some of these objects break our models, others just make us question how the laws of physics haven't completely fallen apart. Neutron stars that spin hundreds of times a second, entire planets drifting through space with no star to orbit, enormous cosmic voids, stretches of space so empty it's like the universe just forgot to put anything there. These aren't wild theories or one-off sightings, these are the products of decades of observation, advanced telescopes and hard science. And they are not rare anomalies either. Many of them are more common than you think. We just didn't know how to look for them before. So today we are going to explore some of the strangest, most extreme and downright mind-bending objects humanity has ever discovered out there in space. And by the end, you might start to wonder if the universe has a sense of humor or if reality is just far stranger than we ever imagined. Let's kick things off with some of the most extreme objects in the universe, neutron stars. These are the ultra-dense remnants of massive stars that went supernova, what's left after a star collapse under its own gravity. But calling them dense doesn't quite do them justice. A neutron star crams more mass than our sun into a sphere about 12 miles wide. That's like stuffing the entire human population into a teaspoon and still having room left over. The surface gravity? over 100 billion times stronger than Earth's. A pebble dropped on a neutron star would hit the surface at a significant fraction of the speed of light. And that's just the run of the male neutron star. Now enter the magneta, a rare type of neutron star with an unimaginably strong magnetic field. How strong? Try a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. If a magneta were just a few hundred kilometers away, its magnetic field would fry every credit card on the planet and literally alter your biology. One magneta, SGR 180620, released a flare so powerful in 2004 that it momentarily altered Earth's ionosphere from 50,000 light years away. Some of these objects spin hundreds of times per second, emitting focused beams of radiation like cosmic lighthouses. We call those pulsars. They are so precise, scientists use them as galactic clocks. And the wildest part? we found thousands of them. They are not science fiction, they are real, and they are everywhere. And they are just one example of how strange, dangerously strange, the universe can be. If neutron stars weren't wild enough, imagine this. What happens if a neutron star collapses even further? The gravity squeezes matter so tightly that even neutrons, the particles that hold the atomic nuclei together, break apart. That's where quarks come in. These exotic objects are still theoretical, but they are based on solid physics. The idea is that when a neutron star reaches a critical threshold, the pressure becomes so intense that neutrons disintegrate into their most fundamental components, quarks. Instead of being packed with neutrons, the star's core turns into a sea of quark glue on plasma. The same kind of matter believed to have existed just moments after the Big Bang. In a quark star, the rules get even weirder. It might be smaller, denser and more massive than a neutron star, but without collapsing into a black hole. Its surface could be so smooth it makes polished metal look like a sandpaper. And the light it emits could be unlike anything we've seen. Some candidates for quark stars have already popped up. Objects that seem too small and too dense to be neutron stars. Yet, they don't exhibit the properties of black holes. Astronomers are watching these outliers closely. If quark stars do exist, they are not just another weird space object. They are windows into the fundamental structure of matter. Natural particle accelerators that challenge our understanding of physics at the smallest scales. And once again we are reminded, in space, just when we think we found the limit, the universe drops something stranger on our doorstep. We are used to thinking of planets as loyal companions. Worlds that orbit stars just like the Earth orbits the Sun. But not all planets follow these rules. Some of them are drifters, wanderers, castaways. 
They are called rogue planets, and they are among the strangest and loneliest objects in the universe. Rogue planets are planets that don't orbit any star. They roam the galaxy on their own, pulled away from their parent system by gravitational chaos, like a planetary eviction notice from the cosmos. Some may have been ejected during early solar system formation. Others could be remnants of star systems that no longer exist. And here is the kicker. There may be billions of these free-floating planets in the Milky Way alone, possibly even more than the number of stars. Some of them are the size of Jupiter or larger, while others may be rocky, Earth-sized and surprisingly warm. That's right. Even without a star, rogue planets might generate internal heat from radioactive decay or tidal forces. Some scientists speculate that if a rogue planet has a thick enough atmosphere or an insulating ice layer, it could even have liquid water oceans beneath the surface. Which means, yes, these pitch black nomads might be habitable in a way we never expected. Think about that. A world drifting through endless darkness, potentially harboring life. It's one of the most haunting and freeling ideas in modern astronomy. If that blows your mind as much as it did mine, hit the like button and subscribe for more. The universe is full of lonely surprises and we've only scratched the surface. When stars like our sun reach the end of their lives, they don't explode, they fade. They expand into red giants, shed their outer layers and leave behind a dense, earth-sized core called a white dwarf. These stellar corpses may look peaceful, but they are anything but quiet. In recent years, astronomers have discovered something truly strange. Some white dwarfs are surrounded by debris rings made of shattered asteroids, pulverized moons and even remnants of former planets. These zombie stars are literally feeding on the bones of their old solar systems. How do we know this? Spectroscopy. When scientists examine the light from certain white dwarfs, they find traces of metals like iron, magnesium and silicon in their atmospheres, elements that shouldn't be there. A pure white dwarf atmosphere should be mostly hydrogen or helium. The presence of heavier elements suggests that the star is collecting planetary debris from a surrounding ring. Some white dwarfs even show signs of having had full rocky planets torn apart by their gravity. In other words, these dead stars are eating their young. Or more accurately, they're old. This gives us a glimpse into the future of our own solar system. Billions of years from now, when the sun becomes a white dwarf, will it devour what's left of Earth and Mars? These systems are eerie, fascinating and a little bit tragic. They are a reminder that even long after a star dies, it can still reshape its environment. If you're enjoying these deep space oddities, don't forget to comment below with the weirdest cosmic object you've ever heard of. We might cover it next. Among all the strange things in the universe, this one is perhaps most unsettling. Because it's not what's there, but what's missing. It's called the Butts Void, and it's one of the largest non-empty regions in the observable universe. Spanning an estimated 330 million light years across, the Boots Void is a vast spherical region of space with almost no galaxies in it. To put that into perspective, if the Milky Way were located inside this void, we wouldn't have discovered other galaxies until the 1960s. That's how isolated it is. This cosmic emptiness was first discovered in the 1980s when astronomers surveying galaxies noticed a huge gap in the sky an area where galaxy density dropped to nearly zero. At first, it was assumed to be a data error, but further observations confirmed it. This region was real and it was hauntingly empty. So how does something like this even form? That's still up for debate. Some theories suggest that galaxy formation simply didn't occur there due to variations in density after the Big Bang. Others propose that multiple smaller voids merged into one super void. But it's the sheer scale of it that rattles scientists. It shouldn't be that big. According to the standard model of cosmology, voids that massive are extremely unlikely to form naturally within the current age of the universe. The Boots Void challenges our understanding of how galaxy clusters and how the universe organizes itself. It's not just a gap. It's a cosmic question mark carved into the sky. And somehow, that makes it even more fascinating. Every so often, the universe sends us a message. A sharp, powerful radio signal that lasts just milliseconds. It comes without warning from seemingly random directions in space and it's gone before we can blink. These are called fast radio bursts or FRBs. And they are among the most mysterious and unexplainable phenomena in modern astronomy. 
The first FRB was discovered in 2007, almost by accident. At first, many scientists thought it was a glitch or interference, but more kept coming. Some repeated, most didn't. They were short, bright and incredibly energetic. Each one releasing as much energy in a fraction of a second as the Sun emits in days. We now know FRBs originate from outside our galaxy, millions to billions of light years away. But we still don't know exactly what causes them. Some scientists think they come from magnetars, others believe they could be the result of neutron star collision or even evaporating black holes. And yes, a few have even suggested they might be artificial, like signals from advanced civilizations. That's not the leading theory, but the mystery runs deep enough that almost nothing is off the table. What makes them even weirder is their randomness. Some FRBs repeat on predictable cycles, while others just don't. Some come in clusters, others are completely isolated. We've even detected ones with strange frequency patterns that don't fit anything we've seen before. FRBs are still being decoded, but whatever their origin, they remind us of one thing. The universe is still full of secrets, and some of them arrive with a bang you can't even see. Up next, in the constellation Libra, about 190 light years away from Earth, there is a star that might be older than time itself. Well, almost. It's called HD 140283, but it's more famously known as the Methuselah Star, named after the biblical figure said to have lived the longest. And for good reason. This star has a cosmic edge that sparked serious debate among scientists. For years, estimates placed Methuselah at around 14.5 billion years old. That's a problem, because the universe itself is only about 13.8 billion years old. See the issue? Of course, it didn't take long for people to start asking big questions. Did we get the age of the universe wrong? Is our model of stellar evolution flawed? Or did someone miscalculate? As it turns out, it was a bit of all three. Over time, as measurement techniques improved, especially with better parallax data from Hubble Space Telescope and Gaia missions, the star's age estimate was revised downward to around 13.2 billion years. That's still incredibly old. Methuselah likely formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. What makes it even more fascinating is its chemical composition. It's a population 2 star, meaning it's made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium with only trace amounts of heavier elements. That tells us it formed before the universe had time to cook up the heavier stuff in the supernovae. It's like a fossil frozen in the fabric of space, evidence of a time when stars were first beginning to form. Methuselah is more than just an old star. It's a direct link to the universe's earliest chapter. A glowing reminder that some of the cosmos's greatest stories are still burning bright billions of years later. At the center of our galaxy lies Sagittarius A star, a supermassive black hole with mass over 4 million times that of our sun. It's a monstrous, invisible giant warping space and time around it. But what's just as fascinating as the black hole itself is what orbits it. Meet S4716, a star discovered in 2022 that orbits Sagittarius A star in a path so tight it completes a full orbit every 4 hours. That's faster than some people's work shifts, and it's doing this at a speed of nearly 8,000 km per second, about 3% the speed of light. To put that into perspective, Mercury, the fastest planet in our solar system, takes 88 days to orbit the Sun. S4716 makes that look like a casual stroll. The star's path brings it within just 100 astronomical units of the black hole. That's incredibly close on a galactic scale, especially considering the gravitational chaos in that region. You'd expect any star venturing that close to be ripped apart, yet somehow S4716 not only survives, it orbits in a predictable loop. How? Scientists think that it might have been pulled in by gravitational interactions with other stars, slowly spiraling inward over millions of years. Its survival tells us a lot about stellar dynamics and how matter behaves in extreme gravitational environments. S4716 is one of the several known S stars orbiting Sagittarius A star, but it's currently the fastest and closest of them all. It's a reminder that even in the most dangerous, chaotic corners of the galaxy, stars can thrive. And honestly, that might be the wildest thing of all. So what do all of these strange, extreme and mind-bending discoveries tell us? 
They tell us the universe is far weirder than we ever imagined, and we've barely scratched the surface. Neutron stars that spin like electric drills, stars devouring planetary remains, rogue worlds adrift in eternal night, structures so big they break the rules and signals so mysterious that defy explanation. And somehow, all of it is real. These aren't one-off anomalies. They are part of the growing list of things we didn't expect, but now we have to explain them. With every new telescope, every new mission and every new data set, the cosmos throws us something stranger. And that's what makes astronomy so exciting. The more we discover, the more we realize how little we truly understand. And here is the kicker. Many of these objects weren't even detectable a few decades ago. Imagine what we will find in the next 10 years. The universe isn't just expanding, it's expanding our imagination. And if this is the kind of stuff we've already uncovered, you have to wonder, what else is still out there, hiding in the darkness? Thanks for joining me on this journey through the weirdest corners of space. Stick around, because trust me, the next chapter will be even stranger. Thank you for watching, keep looking up.